In this lesson, I want to explain from here to the end loop selection. This selection, this selection are for selecting element. You have to go into the one one of these element to select the <coughs> loop. Okay, I insert two sphere with uh, different topology and a plane. Here, insert a plane and change the topology here. I explained in previous lesson. Okay, I will select all of them with click and drag and go into the... As you can see, if you are in a model mode, we have live selection and <clears throat> it's sitting here that are for object selection. If you go into one of these elements, for example, the polygons, you can see this dynamic palette will be changed to important selection like loop, ring, pass, and funk. Okay, as you can see, the same of all these has a dynamic palette here, dynamic menu here that you can, if you just going from model mode to the polygon mode, you can uh, access to these important selection that are in a select menu here here that all of them and now we turn on and active okay <clears throat> if you double click on any object you can select all of that polygon or you can as i said before you can hold in shift to select all of them or you can for example you want to select this role uh, simply active live selection and click and direct to select that but if you want to select a loop of the sphere we have to uh, go into the loop selection here or <clears throat> from select menu loop selection this is loop selection and it has three sitting here simply you can go on your object and select the polygon that you want if you want to select two loop hold shift and select and select, uh, click anywhere to deselect uh, something that you select. If you want to select between horizontal and vertical mode, simply move your mouse uh, left or right. It will show you a preview that you can select your um, loop. As you can see, we select a loop here. Okay, a stop at selection or we can select a loop here, for example. As you can see, we have a different topology here and the software simply uh, flows that topology and select your loop. In this situation that we have a flat plane, the loop is select all of this roll straight away. Okay, for example, I go into the move tool and select, for example, here in this case, and going to the loop selection here, as you can see, if you uh, this uh, option is antique, if you select this rule, as you can see, our select overlap the last selection. If you take a stomp at the selection, as you can see, the select does not overlap the last selection, and you can hold shift to select this rule, rules and our previous selection. This is a stop at selection, a stop at selection, and then uh, move over that and go its way okay you can use it a stop at non quad they are deactivated because we have to go into the another component you can select loop simply edge loop you can go into the <coughs> edge mode and select your edge loop simply here and now those options will be active and you can see x stop add non polygon okay for example i go into the and click this object, this element, this edge, and right click, and I dissolve it for deleting that. And now we have an end gone here. I want to give an example, okay? And going to the loop selection for edge, and simply, as you can see, if uh, <clears throat> the selection uh, reach here, it's turn from the end gone and go that way and select like this. If you want to uh, the loop selection past this end gone, you have to click stop at the non quad. As you can see, it's passed over the end gone and continue its way. And select like this. This is stop at the end. Stop at the pole. Here, 
we have a pole as you can see for example in this uh, edge we have coming here and the uh, <coughs> edge follows uh, divided in a two way this point is poles and uh, for example if you are in a loop selection as you can see if uh, you going to here the software is automatically change its way you can select a loop just you can drag just drag a mouse over your edge and you can select which way you want to go if you tick stop at the pole as you can see the software stop at this pole and don't go more away sorry and you can select like this it does not select a loop stop at the poles but in this case because we have no poles if you tick on untick this option it will not different anymore and of course you can select points simply you can select in a point mode and select the point loop as you can see the selection in a previous element will be remain its in memory as you can see for example if you select that going to the edge <clears throat> select that going to the point select that if you return back as you can see the selection it's in memory you can like we use it when you want to remove selection you can click anywhere or going to the select and deselect all and deselect all selection and component okay and as i said before for example i select this loop when you want to go into edge mode holding control and click as you can see it selects the corresponding edge around the uh, surface or for example holding control and click on a point mode it selects corresponding point for that <coughs> Uh, surface or click anywhere for example going to the edge select this edge if you hold control click it select the point that are in that edge loop so you can move between them with a the control that's the technique that i tell you that's loop simple and easy you can select your loop element here or you can select one of these and work with it hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release